Hello, Libra. Hope you're having a great night or day, whatever, where, whatever time it is, wherever you are, whenever you are. Um, I was meditating on your energy a little bit um, as I was shuffling the cards, and I'm just getting a real sense of fun for you tonight. Um, I don't know. I think maybe you need to have some fun, Libra. Um, maybe something really fun is coming up for you. I don't know. I just have this real, I just got this uh, sense of like excitement, this giddy sense of energy for you, Libra, which is really nice. Whatever's going on. I love it. I wish I could be there with you. Um, I'm going to go straight into, into the reading for you. Um, we're going to just do um, this week all, all the spreads have just been past, present, future, and an advice card over the next week or so, taking a look at the energies that we're leaving behind, the energy that we currently are in, and the energy that we're moving towards, and then a little bit of advice card. The spread's only going to be for the next week or so, no more than two weeks. Um, and tonight is a full moon. Tonight is the full moon, so, um, or technically it was last night, but anyway, I'm still considering it a full moon. And um, so we're, first we're gonna draw the base cards with the Thoth deck, and then I think we'll have a little fun. I'm really getting a sense of fun. We'll do, we'll use this everyday witch deck to pull some clarifiers, okay? All right, without further ado, let's get to it. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, guardian angels. Thank you, ancestors. Please help Libra navigate the energies that are coming towards them in the week ahead and understand the energies that they're leaving behind. What's the energy that Libra is leaving behind? What's the energy that Libra is coming out of right now? Spirit, thank you. Spirit, what's the energy that Libra is coming out of? Okay, we have, ooh, 10 of discs, lovely. What's the energy that Libra is in right now? Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy that Libra is in right now? The Hermit, a little introspection, going into Hermit mode, very nice. Very nice, finding your true path. What's the energy that Libra is moving into in the next week or so? energy that oh a little five we got two five of uh that's okay five of discs <laughs> and the seven of cups okay we'll pull some clarifiers to find out what's going on with that what's the um what's the advice for libra we got three cards here i usually don't want to put that many down but what the heck we got the ace of coins the ace of discs um the empress and the four of wands is your advice um really nice advice so we'll, we'll carry through in a minute um okay so libra you're coming out of a period of abundance okay um financial security financial not that you're leaving it but this is what you've recently been in a lot of um stability for you a lot of control i'm getting control with this as well um libra um and um yeah, I'm getting like a lot of um, documentation, like bank accounts. Um, um, like reconciling accounts, things like that. Um, but these these um, have gone in your favor, okay? These, whatever these, maybe contract negotiations have gone in your favor, Libra. Let's pull some clarifiers. Why the Ten of Discs for Libra? The Hanged Man, so something that took a while for you, um, or something that you didn't quite see. Why the Hanged Man? Why the Hanged Man? Some wisdom, it's interesting, the Hanged Man going into the Hermit, so self-imposed um, isolation or learning for you. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, very slow moving energy, but right, but very methodical, very detail oriented. Um, and an offer, some kind of offer. For some of you, I'm getting an offer was made to you in the recent past that you've been thinking about. Um, perhaps a job offer um, or a romance offer. Yeah, it's, 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 um, you weren't expecting it. You've got the four of, um, 
The Four of Pentacles and the Tower. Sorry, my dog has started, started snoring, so you may hear her in the background. Okay, the Four of Pentacles and the Tower clarifying. Um, all these cards clarifying the Ten of Discs. Okay, so I am getting a lot of... Um, For some of you, there was an offer that came out of the blue, um, perhaps a new job offer, and you're not sure if you can, you want to take it because I'm getting pretty clearly that some of you are, are the people that got this offer, you you already have a very successful job, right? And so you're not sure if you should take the leap of faith and, and switch, uh, switch and take this new position. For others of you... Um, you felt like you're, you've been feeling like your finances are stuck. Um, that 10 of discs is sometimes it's the end of acquisition as well. Um, and with these cards and this control, this four of discs and, um, and the hangman, it feels like maybe, um, you know, you've been on hold for some reason financially, um, and you've been trying to get movement, but you haven't been able to get movement and you've been stuck um, financially. Yeah, coming into, um, right now, you, the, the energy that you're in is the hermit, and we have the star clarifying the hermit. So you've really, you're going inside, um, and of course, you know, we know this, right? The star is what the hermit has in his lantern. So, um, when the hermit goes within for guidance, the hermit pulls from the divine, for inspiration and um, whatever um, whatever's been stuck for you right now you're trying to figure out a way to get things moving you're kind of healing a little bit from, it's not healing like a like a tragedy happened or anything you're just kind of trying to um, assess how you're gonna move forward in the best way you are keeping your thoughts positive which is fantastic you are doing that right now why the star and the hermit spirit? What's going on? Why the star and the hermit? We got the ace of pentacles, and you offer something new coming in for you, a or a gift. Maybe for some of you, I'm getting like um, an inheritance, a gift of money. Um, maybe your your relatives are giving you money for something um, important. Um, yeah, or you're starting a new project that has potential for you to make a lot of money. This is a, you know, Ace of Pentacles, in my opinion, one of the one of the strongest cards in the deck. Always welcome energy when you see the Ace of Pentacles because that means that your manifestations, things that you've been trying to bring into fruition for yourself are coming to be in the material. Okay, why the Ace of Discs? Why the Ace of Discs? The Emperor. So there's that control again. You've been really taking control of yourself, your finances, your situation. You've been like kind of Libra. I think I think that's why I was feeling that need to have fun. And you think you've been very strict with yourself. You've been a hard your hard task master hard task master, as they say. Why the Emperor? You've been making these plans, you've been designing something kind of like a chief, you know, at battle, trying to figure out the absolute best way to get what you want. Why the emperor? The ten of pentacles, yeah. So what I was, you know, what I was really drawn to with this emperor card here is the dog sleeping, just as my dog is sleeping, snoring right now. The emperor is there taking responsibility um, to take, you know, for taking care of his family. So while his loved ones, like his dog, feel very comfortable. I mean, you know a dog feels comfortable when they go to sleep next to you. Um, but it's a lot of responsibility, and I feel like you're taking on a lot of responsibility um, for your family, the Ten of Pentacles. Um, so you're kind of feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders right now, Libra. Hence all that control, hence that Four of Pentacles. You're afraid that you might, uh, you don't want to lose what you have right and then we got the ten of pentacles again so that and that ten of pentacles that we have in the beginning and our first card that we pulled so that's the energy that you find yourself in right now this very controlled strict planning um authoritative you know you being the authority the uh, person with authority that kind of energy the leader um in your household 
you're coming into this energy of um, confusion and worry. Okay, I see, that's what I see you coming into. Let's get some clarifiers on that energy. And then this is just for the next week or so, right? So let's not, you know, it's not doom and gloom or anything, but forewarned is, what is it? Forewarned is forearmed or something like that. Um, you know, I'm not here to like blow smoke up your butt, Libra. I just want to tell you what the cards see so that you can navigate in the best way possible. And these are just cards, right? And these are general readings. So take what resonates. This might, you know, this is definitely not going to, uh, this resonate with everybody, all Libras that watch this, obviously. But for those of you that do, let's get some clarifiers on the five of discs. Seven of Wands, so staying true to yourself, fighting for what you believe in. And the Ten of Cups, okay, fighting for your happiness. So I feel like for some of you, um, you're coming into this energy because unrelated to what we're dealing with here, something's making you feel like out and left out in the cold. Like you're just one of many choices um, that, and I'm feeling this as a romantic thing, right? So, or a relationship where you're feeling kind of, um, you're feeling like, hey, you know, like you have to fight to be recognized or to be noticed in this situation. You're feeling like the person that you're dealing with um, has so many options that they are not considering you. Okay, take this how it resonates. It could be, you know, as part of this, as part of a business venture or work related, but it, I'm getting more um, friendship, relationship, even romance related. Why the Ten of Cups? Why these cards? What's going on? Six of Swords, yeah, some kind of... Why the Six of Swords? Why the Six of Swords? Some kind of travel going on maybe? Maybe you're not able to travel and you really, really want to. Why the Six of Swords? You know, now is not a good time to be traveling, as we all know. And it's just not possible for many of us to travel. Um, so for some people, I'm getting that it's really just as simple as you want to travel um, in the near future. And, and you can't, right? Because there's too much confusion going on in the world. There's too much um, uncertainty right now um, in terms of traveling. And you, you can't make it happen. Um, Spirit, what else do you have for us in the near future? What's this energy? What's this Six of Swords about? What's this Six of Swords about? I'm also seeing with this card, like this person running behind the other two, I'm still kind of getting that feeling of being like left out in the cold, like you're feeling like you're not wanted for some reason. Libra, for some of you, I'm getting that. You're feeling like you have to really um, shout to be heard kind of things, kind of thing. Yeah, and then we get the Three of Wands. So I think that this is just you, um, you just feeling like, like you're just not able to, in the near future, um, I think it's just you being stuck at home, right? Um, the warning of that, um, seven of cups is to um just be careful that you don't overindulge in drink um or food right um okay so let's look at your advice let's look at your advice your advice is the ace of discs the empress and the four of wands so the four of wands very much a card of um assessing where you're at so the this card has two meanings one is very much a card of assessing where you've been in the past, as we were doing here with the Ten of Discs and the Hermit, um, recognizing your accomplishments, congratulating yourself for your accomplishments, giving yourself credit for your accomplishments, and then moving on, though, because the Four of Discs is like a mini universe card, so it tells you that you've reached a certain level of success, but you have to keep working to keep gaining success. Um, and that's where this Ace of Pentacles comes in as well. So I think that this is telling you to kind of stay the course right now um, because 
with the Empress here, she's really on a very abundant energy. So you are creating this a great amount of abundance for yourself. You need to keep that in mind. Um, and that's what you need to keep at the forefront of your mind as you move through the next week um, is that you're creating a great deal of abundance for yourself. And while um, it's you, you need to stop and celebrate what you've achieved up until this point, it's important that you keep going, right? So you don't get stuck, don't get stuck in the malaise um, and don't get bogged down. Um, don't feel like you're, you're close, right? You're, you're close to completion, but you're not. There's still a little work to do. Why the Ace of Discs as the advice, Spirit? Why the Ace of Discs as the advice? For Libra, why the Ace of Discs as the advice for Libra? Strength. Yep, the Strength card. So keep, um, you know, don't, you know, I do see you coming to a little bit of not depression, but just a little bit of woe is me energy in the next week, and you're gonna need to really focus on the positive. Over the next week, it's gonna be important that you keep um, keep your strength, because look, this um, card is such a beautiful card. She's got, um, you know, she's got the lion next to her, the little kitty cat's not afraid of the lion at all, and she's so secure in herself and in her power and in her strength that she's not even paying attention to like the spell that she's casting behind her. She's just, so confident in her abilities that she's like, oh, I cast that spell. I don't need to look at it. I don't need to watch it. I don't need to baby it. I know that I'm creating what I want to create. And that's the energy that you need to keep for yourself, Libra. You know what you're creating. So, you know, just don't let the bastards get you down. You got the three of cups a little bit. As I was saying, this is celebration, joy, happiness, hanging out with your friends. Uh, if you can't see them in person, do some, you know, a Zoom chat, uh, call them on the phone, do something that makes you happy. This for me is like the yay card. It's always like, yay. Um, just do something that makes you feel like that, gives you that little yay feeling. Do something fun. That's what I was getting in the beginning for you, just intuitively, and I think that it's important that you have some fun. Do whatever you need to do to have a little bit of fun over the next week, okay? going to pull a Moonology card. So this that's the minutia, the detail of the next week, Libra. Um, but we're going to pull out a little bit now and look at the bigger picture, the bigger energies that are surrounding you over the next week. So first let me pull a Moonology card. Um, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, Spirit, Guides, and Guardian Angels. What is the energy that is surrounding Libra over the next week, please? Okay, this is fabulous. You got you got three cards, so I'll just I'll read them all. You got a win-win outcome is forecast. This is about as good as you can get. A win-win outcome is forecast. Show the world the real you. You're fabulous, Libra. Show the world the real you. Um, and a personal issue reaches resolution. So these are great cards. This is, you know, you keeping positive, a win-win situation, a win-win outcome is forecast. Be yourself. Um, don't get caught up in your head. Be yourself. Under, you know, as we were saying with the strength card, you're a very powerful, um, confident, successful person. Um, you're very capable. Um, whatever this issue is that's really been, um, that you've been struggling with, it's, it's going to come to... Um, a resolution soon you're gonna figure it out okay we're gonna pull a um, another card for you from nature's whispers we're gonna pull out a little bit farther what advice spirit do you have from for Libra over the next week or so You got Seek Beauty. Seek Beauty. This is a great card. This is a beautiful card because this is also a card of inner strength. Um, goes with that strength card again. This is you looking at the world and recognizing how much joy and beauty and love there is around you um, and really feeling grateful for that and um, moving forward from a sense of um, gratitude and awe um, and w when we do that and when we 
think positively and we move forward from that sense of humility and awe and gratefulness um, and we see just the good in everybody um, and that that goes really beautifully with this win-win situation when negotiations when you um, when you negotiate really successful negotiations are always win-win negotiations where both parties leave having felt like they won something um, and I think that that's relevant for you in some way Libra and I think that when you seek the beauty in everything the beauty in the people that you're dealing with when you seek when you assume the best in everything that's when you're really successful so that's a beautiful card that seek beauty and then I'm going to also pull out um, this blue Oracle this will be the last Oracle card that we pull out we're gonna even go even farther with um, energy for the week and even higher perspective um, it's like the highest highest vibrational spiritual perspective that I could pull a card for right now from this blue Oracle deck thank you spirit what advice do you have for Libra over the next week what advice do you have for Libra over the next week thank you spirit thank you you got virtual fog, okay. This virtual fog seems to be talking to that five of discs and that seven of cups that we were looking at earlier. Um, that seven of cups in the Thoth deck is called debauch and it's a, it's a card of confusion. Um, seven of cups also in traditional Thoth decks is a card of having many choices and not knowing what to choose. So let's look up the meaning of this card in the book. I wanna read it to you from the book because it's a lot more um, eloquent than I can be. Um, okay, virtual fog. Certain things catch your eye, but pursue only those that capture your heart. That's an old Indian saying. Within every soul is the natural desire to evolve and eventually ascend. But in this advancing technological world, it can be very easy to get lost in virtual fog. With an increase in electrical devices, such as mobile phones, computers, VR goggles, and more, we are constantly surrounded by energy pollution made up of artificial electromagnetic fields. If you've been drawn to this card, stay conscious of your level of interaction with technology. Do your best to limit your exposure by limiting your time with electrical devices, such as mobile phones. As much as you are electronically connected with the world, and as convenient as these devices may be, they can also cause energetic disharmony and sever your connection to spirit. Your natural state is to constantly move towards the light. Your pineal gland, or your third eye, recognizes artificial light, um, artificial EMF, artificial electromagnetic fields, as light, and it can often become confused between real organic light and artificial light. Um, stay conscious, as artificial light serves none other than to reduce the effects of your pineal, both physically and spiritually. It can cause confusion and disconnection from self. Now is the time to choose with all your heart which light you connect to. Your chakra is, um, your chakra that the, this card relates to is the solar plexus and third eye chakras, so two chakras. Um, your exercise is to limit how much time you spend on technological devices and spend at least 20 minutes a day outside in nature. Invest in crystals and stones that absorb EMF um, if you can. And, um, and even if you can't, you know, maybe take a bath, right? Rinse, rinse the water off for you. I know it's cold outside, but maybe if you can go barefoot in, um, in the grass a little bit, do something that connects to earth. If you can't do that, just reach out and touch a tree that's next to you. I always find that actually really helpful. Um, your affirmation is, I am awake and grounded in love as I journey into the light of my soul. I am awake and grounded in love as I journey excuse me, as I journey into the light of my soul. And it's really interesting. I was listening to a podcast today that was talking about uh, the importance of taking a few minutes every day to just, um, they, they called it um, single tasking. We're so used to multitasking um, as a society that we're really losing the ability to single task. I don't know why I'm feeling that it's rele relevant here, but maybe for somebody it is. And they were saying that it's important to just um, even start small, like when you start, if you want to become a marathon runner, you're not going to start running marathons, you know, your first try, you have to 
build up to it. So um, they were saying even take like five, 10 minutes every day, um, sit through your boredom um, and just focus on one thing. It's not even meditation. It's like not even saying like meditate for five minutes. It's saying maybe pick up a book and only read that book for five minutes. Don't go on multiple websites at the same time. Don't have your phone with you and scroll through different articles. Just take one book, read it for five minutes, or just go um, take get some knitting and do that for five minutes. Whatever you want to focus on um, as a single task, um, and that really helps recalibrate your brain. Um, so I thought I thought that was interesting. And then the other thing that I'm getting for you, um, Libra, for some reason is if you are on the computer a lot um, with that you know that um, artificial light that we get from computers. If you don't have blue blocker uh, lenses on your glasses, um, even if you don't wear glasses, maybe look into getting a pair of glasses that have those blue blockers on them. Um, if you're having trouble sleeping, that might help you. Um, or at the very least, put your phone on sleep, sleep mode when you go to bed at night um, and uh, turn the screen off, right? So you don't get that blue light to keep you awake. I don't know, I feel like somebody needs to hear that. Um, okay, so that's it for today Libra that's it for this week um, I hope you found this helpful and I'm wishing you lots of love and light and I will see you again next time oh and before I forget um, please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to go on this journey with me I'm going to try to do um, bigger and better spreads and if you have any suggestions for me please let me know put them in the comments if there's a specific spread you want or a topic something like that let me know okay all right, thank you. Have a great week, and I will see you next time. Bye.